Welcome to my channel, Mystery Minds. In the vast expanse of the Lone Star State, a peculiar artifact has stirred controversy and intrigue, challenging our understanding of history and the Earth's geological timeline. Dubbed the London Hammer, this anomalous discovery in Texas has become a focal point for debates surrounding out-of-place artifacts, raising questions about human history and the forces that shape our planet. The London Hammer was unearthed in the mid-20th century, near the town of London, Texas, hence its name. What sets this artifact apart is not just its unusual appearance, but the circumstances surrounding its discovery. The hammer encased in stone was found by a local couple, Max and Emma Hahn, while exploring a rock outcrop along the Red Creek in 1936. Little did they know that their find would ignite a decades-long discussion in scientific and archaeological circles. At first glance, the London hammer appears to be an ordinary tool, resembling a common carpenter's hammer. However, it is the encasing rock that has sparked controversy. The stone surrounding the hammer is said to be Ordovician rock, dating back around 400 million years. This in itself is perplexing, as such a tool should not exist within a rock formation of that age, according to conventional geological and archaeological understanding. For context, the Ordovician period was marked by the emergence of marine life, including trilobites and branchiopods, rather than the presence of advanced human civilizations. The idea that a man-made tool could be embedded in rock from this ancient era challenges the accepted narrative of human evolution and technological progress. Skeptics and mainstream scientists argue that the London hammer is a product of natural geological processes known as concretion. Concretion occurs when minerals gradually build up around an object, creating a cement-like mass. However, proponents of the artifact's authenticity point to the intricate details of the hammer, such as a wooden handle that has long since turned to coal, as evidence of human craftsmanship. The controversy surrounding the London hammer extends beyond its geological implications. Some suggest that the artifact supports the notion of a prehistoric advanced civilization, one that predates our current understanding of human development. This idea aligns with other purported out-of-place artifacts that challenge the traditional timeline of human history. One of the leading voices advocating for the London Hammer's authenticity is creationist Carl Baugh. Baugh, the founder of the Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas, has championed the notion that the hammer is evidence of a young Earth and challenges the scientific consensus on evolution and geology. Baugh argues that the artifact's presence in an ancient rock formation supports the biblical account of a recent creation. Conversely, many scientists dismiss Baugh's claims attributing the presence of the London hammer in the ancient rock to geological processes, rather than extraordinary human history. They'd argue that the hammer's encasement in Ordovician rock is a result of concretion, with minerals gradually accumulating around the tool over millions of years. In the realm of archaeological anomalies, the London hammer remains a hot topic for researchers, historians, and enthusiasts alike. The artifact's mysterious origins and the ongoing debate surrounding its authenticity invite us to question our understanding of the Earth's history and the evolution of human civilization. In conclusion, the London Hammer stands as a symbol of the enigmatic intersections between archaeology, geology, and human history. Whether it is a testament to an ancient advanced civilization or a product of natural geological processes, the artifact challenges our preconceived notions and encourages us to approach the mysteries of the past with an open mind. As scientists and researchers continue to unravel the secrets locked within the London Hammer, it remains a fascinating and controversial piece in the puzzle of Earth's deep history.